Hello again and welcome to the post-marketing phase, phase 4 of clinical trials. If you're curious about our previous phases, phases 1, 2 and 3, please find them here. Let's get started! What everybody, really everybody should know. What happens after a clinical study has been conducted? The study data that was collected is analyzed. Based on these results, the sponsor prepares a report and sends it to the competent authorities. These authorities are responsible for the marketing authorization in their respective regions. On the local European level, it can be a national authority like the Bay Farm in Germany. They can approve a market for the national market only. If the product is to be marketed throughout the whole EU, they require the approval of the European Medicines Agency, or EMA, located in Amsterdam. Once the drug has gone through all the three phases and been authorized, this is great success for manufacturers, physicians, most importantly the patients in need. Unfortunately, even with all these precautions, surprisingly, new adverse events are experienced by some patients. One may wonder, how can this happen even after years of safety testing? During the critical stages of development of drugs due to safety reasons, several patients were excluded from taking part in the early phases. These include patients with organ diseases, elderly patients, pregnant and nursing women, illicit drug users, people who take certain contraindicated medications, and even children. However, after the product received its marketing authority, the larger population previously mentioned now have access and the required indications to begin taking the new medication. This unfortunately means new and different adverse events are inevitable when taken by a new and more diverse patient population. Therefore, our newly approved drug unfortunately has to be removed due to the medication's profile changing from benefit to risk. These studies are called clinical phase 4 studies, post-market or non-interventional studies. They more accurately reflect the society and the everyday life of patients in terms of their treatments, meaning that the environment in these studies is more variable for each participant. Nevertheless, this phase is also strictly regulated and also provides information about the risk of taking medications outside controlled environments like in phase 1 and 2 studies. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed our video on phase 4 of clinical trials. Until next time, goodbye.